Another commentary done by Degity. 12 o'clock location. We got Raz starting as the red Protoss bottom left hand corner. We got Striker starting as the blue Zerg. This is going to be an epic one. We're in the lower bracket Neo Sylphid round. So it's single elimination at this stage. Raz is really good at being off tempo. Striker, though, about the most aggressive while still being solid player you will find. A problem facing Striker as Raz is Raz by mixing things up and cutting corners here and there provides a lot of opportunities for uh, kills. <laughs> and Striker is one of those guys when he see he's got amazing game sense where if he sees a kill opportunity, he will take it. That being said, in the mid game, if Raz can extend it to the mid game, first of all, and doesn't get overwhelmed, sometimes Striker in his aggression will end up leaving lurkers unburrowed because he's looking for uh, army encapsulation sometimes. And by doing that, sometimes he can get caught out of position. And Raz is the type of guy that should be able to just catch Striker a little bit off guard, throw some uh, lurkers into him, things along those lines. It looks like Striker actually opening up with an overpool here. Recognizing the shenanigans, the potential shenanigans of Raz. Raz going ahead and opening up a 10 gate here at the natural expansion. Going for the counterclockwise scout, dancing the probe around a little bit. It was hunting for the overlord, sees no overlord, which he would have caught actually, had it been the opposite corner. And is going to use that to get a little bit of an earlier information lead towards striker's base. I love it when players actually do little clever things like that. So drone making its way out to scout as well towards the 12 o'clock location. Is the probe going to take the time to try to deny the natural? Just seeing that drone out here at the natural at this timing lets Raz know that it's a, a pool opening, but he really wants to get a look at that gas timing. So in the main, also going to see how many Zerglings are dedicated. So we got two to start. We'll see if we see the additional pair upon seeing the gateway. Drone going to turn around immediately, try to make it back. A little bit of damage to start. So four Zerglings. Actually, we're going to see six Zerglings out on the field. First Zealot going to hang out. Raz, rather than getting aggressive, recognizing that it was an early pool build, going to make sure that he plays a little bit more defensive. And I think this is wise on Striker's part. Don't give Raz opportunities to uh, for any tomfoolery is the, what, what I want to say. But Raz going, ooh, risky. He's going to go ahead and try to grab a Nexus despite the Zerglings incoming. That means he is going to have to pull probes off a line to defend this natural. This is a rampless map. I guess two Zerglings are remaining, so it is four versus two Zealots, which is a winning proposition for the Zealots. But this is not a, a front door seal. So probes blockading the natural right there. It's a little bit of cost mining time. The Zealot's going to try to push Striker back. Striker fanning the Zerglings out. We don't have Zergling speed behind this. We do have a, a gas take and a third base in construction. I don't think that was three base before gas. And we'll see if this turns into a 973. Potentially or something... A three ba I'm just going to call it three base Hydra these days because Zerg have been mixing up the number of drones and uh, play along those drones for, for quite a bit recently to where I'm not even sure that as far as 973 being the order of the drones, I'm not sure that counts anymore. Cybernetics core being built on the front. Forge non-existent as of yet. Assimilator in the main. This is somewhat risky. Okay, we do have a forge. So okay, there's the forge at the rear. That does guarantee plus one weapons. And we'll see if this ends up being an earlier plus one zealot timing. Maybe a seven minute zealot attempt. Mutation to lair. Raz is in fact going to spot it. Now needs to keep that probe alive. Critical, uh, critical to keep the probe alive to keep an eye on that drone saturation. Zergling speed is being upgraded behind this. Raz has his own natural expansion up. And I'm curious if he's going to try to cut a corner here and drop a Citadel of Adun. And, but no, he is in fact going to invest in the Stargate to make sure he gets eyes out in the field. This does suggest that Striker is going to go for that Spire into four base play. Every once in a while, he will throw a curveball out there and go for a three base Mutalisk play. That should get sc uh, scouted by that Stargate regardless. Preventative pylon, second assimilator at the natural would suggest we're going to see a little bit more of a gas heavy build from Raz. Maybe try to play more Bisu buildish, 
Go for Dark Templar tech in the mid game, we'll have to see. Could play for air control if he wants. A single preventative cannon at the natural. And we see that Spire pocketed in that back corner. I still think this is Striker's more often. Oops. Probe dies out on the front. Striker more often will play four base. But again, three three hatch Hydra is in his skill set. So we'll have to see. Currently banking enough gas. The Zealots have snuck out. Fourth hatchery already. So it looks like this is potentially going to be a fold back to five hatch Hydra. It's possible we'll even go for six hatch Mutalisk. I don't see any Hydralisk den as of yet. And we'll see if Raz can get eyes all the way together. Zergling spread out, but not finding the Zealots currently. They are able to make it undetected through that southern flank. Main finds the Spire, sees that second extractor, sees the evolution chamber as well, and it looks like the Zealots are going to be able to march in here to the 6 o'clock, catching Striker completely off guard. Great job moving moving through their field cloak. Let's see how many drone kills end up happening here. So Striker just now getting the alert. The Zergling's completely out of position. And honestly, no Mutalists in flight either as of yet to deal with this. A Scourge, initial pair of Scourge being built. So that's a base that's shut down. More Zealots making their way out. The Zerglings not in position to track. So big wins for Raz early. Just Scourge right there. And this is not sufficient Zerglings to deal with these three Zealots. Raz going to go ahead and retreat. This is leaving that natural expansion somewhat exposed. We don't have a Sutton Colony here as well. So amazing early game damage here from Raz. These Zealots going to be able to march in, create havoc. And if the Zerglings leave this third, that's going to open up the Zealots to go ahead and march back in and do some additional damage. So let's see how many kills they can secure here at the natural expansion. The Zerglings dealt with there. The drones having to defend themselves, going for drone drills. These Zealots, however, unfortunately for Raz, he's not marching these Zealots back out. If while the Zerglings were gone, he pushed the Zealots immediately back out to shut down the mining and get some drone kills, he would have had massive bonus. Finally, the Mutalisks here to shut down, but that was a, a critically, a, a significant amount of damage done by Raz in the early game. It looks like it is going to be six hatch Mutalus to start. We have two Corsair out. We have a good complement of Corsair out otherwise. No plus one weapons. Templar Archives, I believe, got scouted by Striker. Two additional gateways as well. I don't think there was, maybe I missed the plus one weapons upgrade. Yeah, plus one weapons is in fact finished. So nice early game harassment here from Raz. He has, he has intelligently invested in Corsair. Needs to keep that count high. Because Striker wanting to play air control from here, building additional Scourge, and this is really going to tax Raz's Corsair Micro. We've got four Mutalisks, a bunch of Scourge already out. Five Corsair, I think six Corsair without the plus one is where you want to be. We do have some, we do have a Dark Templar being constructed, some additional High Templar, which are going to be very fragile to the Mutalist. The Mutalist, ooh, without. Okay, moving up with the Scourge, are they going to be able to take down one? And also the timing, perfect. One High Templar down, the second High Templar making its way in. Raz, yeah, just getting, having a lot of trouble microing against this. And as a result, Striker able to take down two High Templar to start. That's a massive amount of gas. Dark Templar out on the field. Six o'clock base, only a single Overlord there to protect it. But will the Corsair be able to make it out to deal with that? Overlord and a Sutton Colony also at the natural expansion. Looks like a drone making its way bottom right. Psystorm also upgrading, so those High Templar, honestly, a little bit, weren't mostly there to build energy. Dark Templar makes its way in, immediately takes a shot, so it doesn't have a lot of shield, and unfortunately, yeah, Raz, wanting to defend the High Templar at his main, isn't really going to be able to open up the attack for the Dark Templar at any location. It is going to provide some nice forward scouting, however, potentially, and might even be able to... As long as... It, this is one of the nice things, is you can use it to try to track down Scourge and Mutalus. Oh, never mind. He's going to try to force it in. Just testing that front to make sure it was, in fact, there. I feel like it's better, and Striker... This is what I was talking about with Striker. Full control group of Mutalus. There are some Archons back here. 
So Raz actually sniffed it out or knew that Stryker was one of those guys who try to pull something like this. But this is a massive amount of Scourge with the Archons there in defense. That keeps the Corsairs active where they can repel the Mutalisks. The Zealots marching their way out with the Corsair. However, the Archon's not there. So Stryker's still controlling the air. As long as those two armies aren't linked up. The Archon, now part of the ball. That can... It's a very difficult micro battle, though, for both players. Stryker doesn't want to dedicate too much because otherwise he might end up losing one of his key bases and end up in a base trade situation that might not be favorable for him. However, if he doesn't get some damage done, might prevent, might, Raz might just be able to start walking away with this. High Templar Exposed drops the Psy Storm, gets a little bit of the Mutalist. The Corsair able to get some damage to the Scourge. Look at, wow, so many Scourge trying to hunt down these Corsair. The Corsair able to sneak back out. Raz able to wipe things out, but at the same time hasn't gained the map control necessary to grab an additional base or take additional bases out. The Mutalisks, let's see if they swing around. There's not enough Hydralisks right now to defend the front. Plus one armor on the way. Corsair's additional Archons making their way up. Big Simp City on the front. Now, actually, with the follow-up uh, Hydralisks on the front, that should be sufficient to defend. Really plug things up here. The Mutalisks making their way back. And unfortunately for Raz, if he ends up losing this army, Particularly if he ends up losing the Archons. And looks like he backed off the Corsair. Is going to end up paying for it. Some nice micro there from Striker altogether. Dark Templar able to get some drones at the natural. But still Striker's drone heavily between all of this. He's also established in a, a base bottom right. And Raz just hasn't punished things or kept up economically. And now you have a rogue group of Mutalisks with Hydralisk support. That could cause Raz a massive headache. As that Corsair grouping is gone. This isn't going to be... We've got three cannons at the natural. Maybe to provide some defense. We've got four cannons at the main. But no, no Corsair to provide some support. And these 12 Mutalisks can just do ravaging amounts of damage. Just going to peel in. Force Psystorm Storm over the High Templar. All High Templar gone. And now Raz doesn't have much of a standing army at all. A couple of Zealots trying to make their way out. Striker still with it. Well, took a battering on those Mutalisks. But more Hydralisks making their way forward. Lurker Aspect just about finished. Striker doesn't need to dedicate this attack to the natural. Can just go ahead and back up and go for Lurker Contained to follow. And he's just going to have too strong an economy. But takes the cannons down. Eight Mutalisks and no air defense except for a single Photon Cannon right there. Raz calls GG. Well played from Striker. Whew. Raz had some moments, but Striker just overwhelming there. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Raz eliminated. Striker continues along the lower bracket. I believe the Artosis versus Striker games made it onto the mainstream. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for listening.